Hi, welcome to the Tarot Advent for the 4th of December. So today I have pulled the death card. So the death card is quite scary for some people. It's one of those cards that um, puts people off tarot because it shows this skeletal rider on this white horse trampling over dead bodies. Um, and people think it's about like physical death. And so obviously, you know, that can bring a lot of fear for people, but it's actually a great card. It's a card that uh, represents the death of uh, things that no longer serve us, things that are moving out of our um, field, if you like, out of our system, out of our experience. So you can see on the card that death riding on this very beautiful looking white stallion He's walking quite um, slowly, confidently, clearly, just walking forward. There's no hurry. He's going at his own pace. And on the floor beneath the horse, you can see a, a king. And standing in front of him is some sort of um, Pope-like character or someone from the church. And there's children there. So basically, this meaning is it's like... Um, it's a leveler, something that happens to everybody. So you can't um, you can't negotiate your way out of things. You can't resist this. It's it's a force that's coming, and it's something to go with. To it, ultimately, it's a big surrender card, but it does mean that it's a really big shift that's that's on its way. Um, you could say that the the king represents um, things like control that is over, some sort of like, you know, having moved through, letting go of control. The, you could see the, um, the Pope-like character. I often consider those as um, like kings and popes. They can be seen as like representing the, the system, if you like. Uh, the patriarchal system that's controlled us and that this is something that we that it's time to kind of move beyond or it, it, it's come to the end of its control uh, in in certain ways not in every way of course the children they could represent the end of the stories that we've been carrying since childhood the stories that actually aren't true about who we are but we've made them um into some part of our identity that doesn't serve us and that keeps us small and it keeps us stuck in that sort of mindset so the death card when this appears in a reading it's actually really good to have it knowing that certain things that you're you've been working on perhaps or you're going to move through and if you can see it's got this land behind it and then two towers in the in the distance with the sunrise. So it represents some kind of transition time uh, before some the dawn of something new. So it's a period, it's not like a, a very sudden um, uh, transition, but it is a transition. It's There's a path and a journey to follow, but it does... Uh, suggests something good and new is going to happen in the, the near future so if that's a message that you need to take for you today look at uh, where are you holding on to things that are existing that perhaps aren't serving you what can you let go of uh, what can you bless and and let go of um, and don't fear the things that are coming to an end because everything has to come to an end it's things end before they get reborn it's we live running this cycle of birth death and rebirth and it's just part of what it is to be human it's how we're connected to nature because this same thing uh this same phenomenon happens for everything in life and it also reflects very much the energy of the season we're coming to the, the end of autumn and um you know all the leaves have now pretty much died and fallen off the trees it's turning into nutrients it will break down and it will feed the roots of the trees 
and that then the trees will go through their transition and rebirth in the spring and that's the same thing for us as humans we all go through it so if that's a message for you take it with you today and i will see you tomorrow bye for now